express pot, pulled pork. Mm, mm, mm. Now, this is our handy new tool from Crock-Pot. It's an express pot, which is similar to an Instapot, and it does it all. And it and makes, fast. And fast. And it makes an amazing pulled pork in under an hour. Guys. So we love that with the express pot, with any kind of crock pot recipe, you just put everything, one pot, done. So we have... And you walk away. And you cook other things while you're waiting. Which is what we're going to be doing. So we have good old oil, salt, pepper, pork, garlic powder, root beer, which is our little secret ingredient, and then barbecue sauce. So this is a very simple recipe. You most likely have everything you're going to need except for maybe you need to go out and get some pork and a cute little root beer. Delish. Let's start. What are we going to do? Let's start it up. Okay, so another cool feature of our express pot is the fact that it sautés. So anyone that knows cooking well knows that to get really good flavor from your meat, it's always good to give it a quick sauté before you throw it into a crock pot. It creates kind of like a What's the word I'm looking for? Tidbits. <laughs> it creates tidbits of flavor. Tidbits of flavor. Um, a crust. It creates. It creates like a little. Crust, yeah. But it, it, it is actually an encrusted flavor. Encrusted pork. flavor of pork. All right. Do you want to prepare the pork while I sure. show how we get this started? So, a lot of different features here on our express crop from crock pot. To get this started, we're gonna go just click on the brown saute button, like so, and click start. That's gonna start heating this up. We're gonna just drizzle some oil in and pop our pork in. Pop that pork. Pop the pork in. I always use the wrong knife. You, what knife? She has to open up. Okay, last time you told me my knife is too dull. So let's get the biggest, sharpest one. Yeah, okay, whatever. Watch out. <laughs> wow. So next, we're going to heavily salt and pepper the pork. And we say heavily, we mean heavily. Again, all those tidbits are gonna be going into our crock pot and we want that to have good flavor. So this is like the first burst of flavor you're gonna get. Mm, I love flavor bursts. Flavor explosions, yes. flavor bursts, we like it all. So we want a good amount of salt and pepper. So while Tracy's finishing up heavily salting our meat, we are taking a look over here. So as I mentioned, we did the brown saute feature, click start. An awesome feature that Crock-Pot has is it lets you know when it's ready. So right now you can see it says heat. So once it starts counting down the timer, then we know that our baby is ready to put the goodies inside. The interesting thing about Crock-Pot Express, I learned is that it is 70% more energy efficient than using a stove. What? So it's fast utility savings and saving us money? Love it. We're gonna oil, drop pot, heat up that oil, put a fork in. So simple. That sizzle. Can you hear that sizzle? The fact that you get a sizzle like that, yeah, from a crock pot, I have to say that is here. amazing. Because crock pot recipes are so good, but sometimes they don't have that crisp, and this is the solution. I would say we did about three minutes on each side. And while she's doing that, I'm just slicing up an onion. We're going to add this in when we add in our... Um, garlic powder and our barbecue sauce and our root beer, and that's just going to add a little bit more flavor. So next we're going to add all of our stuff. We're going to start with the root beer. We're going to do about a half a bottle. You don't want to do too much liquid in the express pot because it doesn't evaporate like it would in a normal crock pot. So we're going to start with a half a bottle, which is about six ounces. What are we going to do with the other half? Well, chug it, chug. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we did go to college together. It's only for people, okay? <laughs> Is that a cup? Well, I think a cup's good. Perfect. Beautiful. And it's always good to reserve a little bit of barbecue sauce for after. I like my meat nice and saucy, so it's always... Um, Chicken saucy. 
looking saucy. It's always good to put a little bit of that on top. Just gonna sprinkle in some garlic powder. <laughs> You're doing like this salt bay, like. <laughs> All right, and while she's doing that, I'm just gonna add in the onions that I just chopped up. Um, so, now that our meat is all sauteed, we're going to go back to the front, turn that off, and then we're going to hit the meat stew button over here. That's going to start the pressure cooker. For this recipe, it's going to cook for about an hour. So pop that baby right up to 60, and all you do is hit start. Close the lid. You want to make sure it's locked. And just on the back, back side. we're going to want to turn the steam release valve to off, which is on the right side. There's an X on it. That one's off. And, and then we're going to sit and wait. That's it. Let's sit and wait. Actually, <laughs> what? Somebody does not want us to Let sit. Let me go. <laughs> the moment of truth is here. Yay! All right, so our pulled pork is done. 60 minutes are up. All we do is take this little Slip. steam lift switch. I just scared it every, every time. time. Our dog just ran away too. So this is letting out all the steam in the pressure cooker. And then once that is done, then we'll open it up, spread up the meat, and then eat it. Can't wait. Our meat is all shredded. We suggest turning the express pot off at this time. It'll help the sauce thicken up. Oh, ready to test. my goodness, I'm so excited. Mm. So we have two different options for ways to eat this. There's obviously a million different ways that you can have pulled pork. But the good old hamburger bun potato roll deliciousness. Perfect. And then this. Why do I get stuck with a healthy option over here? This is your idea. Well, there I'm are all about people. good ones. I'm gonna have a carb-friendly option over here. That's right. So we got is that bib lettuce? Um, yes, butter lettuce. Butter lettuce. Perfect. Yum. Okay, and then we're gonna top that with our beautiful, easy apple coleslaw. Oh, and that is just pretty. So pretty. And on my end, I don't know how I ended up with the bread. I don't know. It's just coincidence. Naturally happens. <laughs> oh, this pulled together so. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. I, I can't even wait. I have to start. All right, go, go. Taste it. And our slaw. I know. Hmm. Mm. Thoughts? Oh my god. It's so good. Juicy. It's juicy. Let's just be honest here. Mmm. It's like, yeah. Oh my. I need to stop. Mm. I think we end every video with me just eating a lot of 